Many children throughout our area have suffered or witnessed some form of trauma, whether it be abuse, crime, homelessness, or the death of a parent. Many carry those psychological scars into the classroom. Well, later this week, radio station 900 AM WURD will host a brain strain symposium in an effort to help young people overcome these issues. Sarah Lomax Reese is the president and CEO of WURD Radio. Sarah, thanks for being with us. Thank you. You hosted this symposium for the first time last year. That's what, right. what did you learn and why did you decide it was important to do it again this year? What we learned is that we just scratched the surface of this uh, wide ranging issue and it's a conversation that we talk about pretty frequently on WURD, but we want to go in depth, we want to go deep and bring behavioral experts, behavioral health experts, experts, medical experts, education experts, all to the table to talk about what we as a community can do to really help address this widespread pervasive problem. It really impacts how children learn depending yes. on the type of trauma that they've been exposed to. How does it impact society then as the ripple effects? Wow, I mean nothing happens in a vacuum. So um, I published a health magazine for about 10 years and one thing I realized is that you you know, the, the health and well-being of your physical self is never going to operate in a vacuum. It's about the community. It's about economic uh, opportunities. It's about education. And so the, the education opportunities and access don't happen in a vacuum. It's about your family and what you experience in your community. And so we have to strengthen everything holistically. And so that's what we want to talk about on Thursday is how we, as individuals, but also as a society, as a community, Community, look at the adverse childhood experiences and how so many of our young people, if they're exposed to them too often and too many, it's going to have a physical health impact. They're going to be predisposed to heart disease, to cancer, to all kinds of health issues. And so, so further, what's the goal? So you'll educate a lot of people because I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there who don't realize the impact on children and their learning and the ripple effects. And yeah. then where do you go from there? Well, the, the idea is to connect people with resources. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, you know, you can only do so much in, uh, in a symposium or uh, a radio show or a TV show. We can spark awareness and then we can connect people up with uh, websites and uh, experts and people who can, and programs that are happening throughout the city because this is a very resource rich community, but there's a disconnect sometimes between the resources and the people and we want to be that bridge. It sounds like you're going to have a lot of experts at this uh, symposium, so let's remind our viewers. Brain strain to the effects of trauma on education is happening this Thursday, 6 o'clock at the Franklin Institute's Franklin Theater. A free event. You do need to register in advance. You can do that on our website, NBC10.com, or on our NBC10 app. Sarah Lomax-Reese, thanks so much. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thank you.